Today, we're going to learn how to use Google Sheets to organize your score sheets for virtual tryouts. So the first thing you need to do is open a new untitled spreadsheet. We're going to give it a name, 2020 Virtual Auditions, or whatever you would like to name it. Now, we're going to be working in some different tabs at the bottom. So let's go ahead and create those. This sheet one, I'm going to rename as score totals. That's going to be my main spreadsheet to work off of with all of the judges totals in it. Next, we're going to add each judge. If you want, you can label them with the actual judge's name. That way, when they're going into score, they know exactly which tab to click on and it's a little bit less confusing. All right, let's go back to our main screen. Now, you want to think about the different information that you want to gather. You might give the students numbers, um, working with their last name, first name. You may have their grade level. Sometimes I put in additional information like what team they were on the previous year or what they're auditioning for. For example, if you have one audition and they could opt to try out for varsity or JV or both, you might put that information there for the judges. So let's clean this up a little bit. Now, if you used a Google form for the kids to apply for your team, then you can just copy and paste from that. So for this example, we're gonna work with our summer staff. So I'm just gonna come right out um, and take the last names. This is some of our lovely staff. They're auditioning for our fake team. And then we can go in and take their preferred first name. And in lieu of their grade level, we're gonna put in whoops, how many years they've been on staff as their grade. Okay, so we have their main personal information set up. Now, the other thing that I always like to do is give myself a constant or a standard. So I'm gonna insert one above, and I usually name her Betty Ballerina, and she's been on staff for 30 years. Now, I like to freeze these top rows so that when I'm working, my uh, titles and my constant, Betty Ballerina, always stay visible. So if you just go to View, and freeze your top two rows. That way, when you're scrolling through your candidates, those two stay on top. Now, from here, you may have portions that go into their score that's not graded for, by the judges. For example, um, you could have their previous year's grades, attendance, discipline, maybe you have teacher recs, anything that your judges are not gonna score themselves um, that you may put in ahead of time, you wanna go ahead and put that in. And for now, we're just gonna say that those are all worth 10 points and Betty Ballerina got all of her points. You would go through and predetermine this information on this sheet, like maybe Jesus didn't pass all of his classes, but he always came to school and he did have that one referral, so on and so forth. Every other candidate is great. Jesus just had those little points he missed there we go. Now we're going to build in judge one's score, judge two, judge three, oops, and create our total to work off of. Now we don't want the judges typing on here. They're going to be working on their own sheet so that they can break down the score a little bit more. So next we have to build the judges sheets. So I'm just going to copy all the information that I want my judges to have and we're gonna go in and paste. And then I want the judges to view it the same way. So I'm gonna freeze those top two rows for them as well. We're gonna work purely in judge one, one sheet to build it, and then we'll copy and paste into two and three. So then you need to decide what elements are they being scored on? Did they have a jazz routine? Maybe a kick routine? Um, they had some tricks our skills they had to show, and overall impression. And this can be any way you want it to be, and you can set it up however you would like for your tryout process and the points that you're rewarding. Now, again, I love to use Betty as my perfect example. So let's say that's jazz is out of 30, the kick is out of 30, skills, overall impression. So then we're gonna get our score total. 
Now in order to create our total, you're going to type the equal sign and then sum, S-U-M, open your parentheses, and then grab what you want to be a part of the score. Careful not to grab their grade level unless that counts into their points for some reason. That's going to calculate our total for us. Then you can copy that field and paste it all the way down your candidates. And you'll notice it populates zeros because there's no scores put in these cells yet. But when the judges go in and start typing and giving scores, it will automatically give you a total. Now, this page looks good to go for judge one. So I can take the whole thing, copy it, and paste it to judge two, freeze our top two rows for judge two, and same thing, paste it for judge three, and freeze those top two rows for judge three. Now we need to make these totals appear back on our main sheet. So we're going to click on this cell where we want judge one's total to populate. Hit enter, click on the judge one sheet, and then click on the total that you want to go there and hit enter again. Just like you did on the single sheet, you can go all the way down and paste. You're gonna do the same thing here. Judge two equals the total on judge two sheet, copy, and paste all the way down. And one more time, judge three equals this total, copy and paste all the way down. Now I wanna create my totals. So I'm going to hit equal again, sum, and I want to grab from their grades all the way over because the way that I'm populating the score is each judge out of 100 and then 30 points for the grades, attendance, or discipline. But again, you could set up whatever categories you need for your tryouts. Then we're gonna copy that total and drop it all the way down. Now, when your judges come, you'll see Jesus has a 24 for his attendance, grades, and discipline. Every other candidate is pretty awesome and already has a 30. So all we're missing are their scores from the judges for their dancing, okay? So let's say you had your tryouts and here are our staff with their scores all input. So judge one, two, and three already put all their scores in. And now we need to figure out who made the team. So go to your total sheet and we're going to select the whole sheet, go to data and sort. Check that you have a header and go down to total. I like to look at my candidates from the highest to the lowest score. So that's gonna be Z to A and click sort. Betty Ballerina is gonna stay on top because she had that perfect score. Looks like Jordan Baird, third year staff member, also has a perfect score. Then you can come over here and you may have for your team an actual score break, like maybe they have to get a 270 or higher, or you might be looking for a natural break within the scores. But you can keep scrolling and come down. You'll see that Marez only got her 30 points for her attendance, discipline, and grades. So that would be a moment to go back and check and make sure, did she turn in videos and we just missed her? Or maybe she didn't submit videos and that's why she's down there. If that's the case, be careful you don't announce her as being on the team if she didn't turn in her videos. But from here, you can find your breaks and determine your team. Let's say that we decide to break it, oh, I don't know, right here. But now I wanna resort this small list so that I can post them as the varsity team. If you copy those names and make a new sheet, then you can paste, whoops, don't paste it in the tab. <laughs> so title it, and then you can paste. And now I can go data, sort. My data does not have a header, sort A. Now, if it's time for me to type my list to post, the names are back in alphabetical order for me. Then if you were selecting a second team, your, let's say your JV team went down to here, you could do the same thing again. Make a second tab for your JV, paste the list, 
go to data, sort range, and sort. Then you would have your varsity and your JV list to work off of and you can make sure that you don't make any mistakes when you're posting your final results. If you have any questions or need any help with tryouts, MA Dance Nation is here for you. For some awesome routines that you can use for your auditions, check out our YouTube at MA Dance Nation.